hello guys welcome to this channel the blessed sam channel whatever we show you here on this channel is just for educational purposes and not a, not a financial advice so what we do here is just to show you opportunities on how to make money online if you are new to this channel please do well to subscribe to this channel and uh, share this video with your friends so that they will also be benefiting from whatever information we are dropping on this channel so right now i want to show you guys on how to make use of pancake swap for some of you that doesn't know how to buy token or sell token on pancake swap so the next thing we are going to be doing is to open our trust wallet and again any token you want to trade on pancake swap make sure that you have added that token on your trust wallet on the list of tokens on your trust wallet and also add that same token on the list of token on your pancake swap because if you don't do that you cannot trade that token on pancake swap so how do you do that you first get the contract address of that particular token if it is a token that is built on smart chain just go to bscscan.com and type the name of that token and the contract address will show down there just copy the contract address then come to your trust wallet and add it and again go to your pancake swap and add it so i will just use witty token right now to show you how to add the token and also how to trade it so let's use witty token here is a witty token contract address i'll just copy it right now then i'll go to my trust wallet i'll first of all add it to my trust wallet though i have it already on my trust wallet but i will show you how to add it anytime you are dealing with any token that is on binance smart chain make sure that you change the trust wallet network to binance smart chain on top here because right now it's on ethereum so you have to change it to binance smart chain click on it then click on binance smart chain sorry click on this button up here that is showing ethereum symbol click on it then you select binance smart chain as soon as you select Binance Smart Chain, then the next thing that you have to do, if you want to add the token on your pancake swap, you click spare on this dab button here. This dab button, click on the dab button. If if your wallet is like this, you click on this dab button here. When you click on the dab button, it will show you this page. You scroll down under popular this popular here you see pancake swap you click on pancake swap and allow it to load up so after loading each time you load your pancake swap for the first time in fact each time you load your pancake swap the two token that will show up is bnb and cake the reason is because cake is the native token of pancake swap exchange why BNB is the blockchain network that pancake swap is using that is why the two token will always show up each time you load your pancake swap so it's not left for you to change the two token to the particular one you want to trade and if it is a new token that you have not added to your pancake swap for the first time you click on this either BNB or cake any one of your choice you click on it this page will open you paste the contract address that we just copied right here paste it inside this place normally the token will show up with a button here that will say import once you click on import then you will see another box down here that will uh, allow you to check that is click on that check box then import the token will not show this way but because i have imported this one that's why it's showing like this so but as me i have not imported it it will not show like this. it will show me import button right here but sometimes the, take, the token will not show up, it will take time to show up or it, or it will not even show at all. So what you have to do is to click on this manage token here. Click on it, it will open this page again for you. You click on these tokens, click on the tokens. Then inside this box, you paste the contract address inside this box. Now you paste the contract address there again and wait a little to load up the token. 
after some time ahead as it has loaded none because i have activated this token on my pancake swap already that is why it's showing me active here but as mean i have not activated it will show me activate button there you click on that activate button it will be activated instantly so by then now the witty token will be on the list of token on your pancake swap which you can now buy or sell witty token on your pancake swap then going back to our trust wallet assuming we have not added it to our trust wallet before you come on the wallet click on the wallet when you click on the wallet then you click on this two eye here these two dots here that is like human eye click on it when you click on it then you paste the contract address inside this search token here that says search token paste the contract address in here then you paste it it will load the token most times it will not show like this because i have added it that is why it's showing but if it did not show it will now if it show just click on this dot here click on it when it turns blue that means it has been added to your uh, token the list of token on your trust wallet has been added so you can now go back and see it but if it did not show you click on this add custom token click on add custom token then if that token is on binance merchant change this ethereum to binance merchant first then click on binance merchant then paste the contract address inside this place that says contract address paste it here you click on this why it shows is because i have it already but if it did not show the name the symbol and decimal once you click on this paste button after pasting the contract address once you click on this paste button here the name of the token will show the symbol will show and the decimal will show then you click on this done button up here click on that done button then the token will automatically be added to your trust wallet token list so you can now deposit or withdraw the token from your trust wallet then how do you do the deposit and withdraw just click on any of the token when you click on it you will see send and receive receive is when you want to receive from someone just tap on it you copy this address and send it to any person just click on copy and send it to the person that wants to send with the token to you then when you want to send to somebody just click on this send button here now when you click on it you paste the address of that person inside this recipient address then type the quantity of which you want to send to the person click on continue after clicking on continue you will see confirm button here confirm the button then sometimes twice then it will now be sent to the person automatically so let's go back to the reason why we are here we want to learn how to trade on pancake swap after adding the token on both the pancake swap and also on trust wallet the next thing is to come to our dap browser again click on dap then scroll down to popular then click on pancake swap again and each time make sure that this logo here is showing this wallet sign if it's not showing wallet sign it means that your pancake swap has not been connected to your trust wallet so make sure that it's always showing this wallet symbol if it's not showing, it will write connect here it will write connect here then click on that connect it will now be connected to your trust wallet because if your pancake swap exchange is not connected to your trust wallet you will not be able to carry out any transaction from your trust wallet so make sure that this wallet symbol is showing and again make sure that you change the slippage slippage is the percentage percentage of what determines the percentage of uh, charges that you will be charged while carrying out transaction on pancake swap click on this setting button here sorry when you click on that setting button it will bring this uh, page for you so now first of all start with 0.1 percent if it did not go then you can now use 0.5 so like uh, right now we are using 0.1 in this transaction 
So when you click on that 0 0.1, it's highlighted already. You close it, you close the page. So you can see it's showing down here now. The slippage uh, tolerance now is 0 0.1. So sometimes if you want to carry out transaction, it will tell that your slippage is too slow or is too low. You can go back there again, change it to 0 0.5. So sometimes it might require you to use one. But for this witty token, if one did not go, zero, if 0 0.1 did not go, 0 0.5 must go. So just take note, note of that. So the next thing now is to come here. Since we want to buy witty token, which we, we want to use for our witty uh, staking account. And first thing you have to do is go to that witty staking platform. Check the package you want to activate. Know the quantity of witty token that is required to activate that particular package before you come and buy it from PancakeSwap. Assuming now, uh, the one we want to stake now is a $100 package, which uh, right now, I think it's around 130 something pieces of wheat that you need to activate it. Okay, let's say we want to buy 135 pieces of wheat. Always know that the one you want to buy is always down, and the one you want to use to buy is always up. So, if you want to buy, the one you are buying is always down, the one you want to use to buy is always up. If you want to sell, the one you, you want to sell will be up and the one you want to sell to will be down. So right now we want to buy with, with USDT BEP20. So we have to change this BNB to USDT BEP20. So now select it, see it here, just select it, it will show up there. Then for cake, change this cake to witty. Just type WTY, WTY, which token will show up. Let's wait for it to show. Then you click on it. You can now see that the two token has been changed. So we are using USDT BEP20 to buy WIT. And the quantity of WIT you want to buy is 135 pieces, for instance. You click down here, type 135 pieces of WIT. You can now see that 135 pieces of wheat will cost us 95.615 USDT right now. So the next thing now, you click this button down here now will show swap. If I have this quantity of USDT on my wallet now, here will be active. We show swap button. Click on swap, then approve, confirm. Then this USDT will be debited from my trust wallet and my trust wallet will be credited with 135 pieces of wheat instantly without giving any person my money everything is done by me then if i want to sell my wheat as mean after purchasing wheat at a reduced price which is the purpose of this video because of the arbitrage opportunity that we have on non-custodial p2p exchange in wheat platform after buying with this token at a reduced price and you want to come and sell it on pancake swap to make profit so you have to come here change this token now to witty change it to witty wty then we are we are selling our witty to usdt you change this uh... all right you change that down one to okay yeah it's already uh, changed or if you don't want to come and type it again just click on this center button here now the one that is on top will come down the one that is down will go up let's do it practical now you see it you see usdt is up now while we see is down so if i want to do it again just tap it again USDT will come down, which will go up. So as me, I want to sell 135 pieces of which. Let's assume what I purchased from uh, Witty non-custodial P2P exchange is 135 pieces of which, and I want to sell it to USDT. So I'll just, if I have it, if that is the only thing I have in my Witty wallet, I'll just click Max. It will show up here. Then show me the point, uh, the price I will get in USDT. So I'll now click on Swap. Click on approve.
agree on confirm then my wit token will be converted to usdt and i will have it right inside my trust wallet without my money going to any place or any person's hand so this is a safe transaction that you can ever do on your own and this is how to use pancake swap to buy and sell token so thanks for watching this video do well to subscribe to this channel and share this video with your friends thanks for everything